Hi, this is Mark from LongEyeWatch.com, and today I've got a limited edition AV8 Bader chronograph to show you. I think it's Bader, Douglas Bader. Um, I don't think it's Bader, it'll be two Ds. It's B A D E R. Anyway, I. Uh, He's famous in the way of the Hawker Hurricane aircraft, which, uh, if you know anything about AV-8, a lot of the models are called Hawker Hurricane, named after that aircraft. So, kind of cool that there's a limited edition series uh, focused around a commander of that particular aircraft. Uh, pretty nifty. So, I got three colors, or all limited, I think it's 700 and change pieces uh, for the entire series. Um, pretty cool looking watches. Um, not sure I was wearing in the last video, but it might still be the same. The uh, Blue Dial Yachty and, oops, the original Islander. I, there are, this is, I guess, a 30-second Islander commercial while I have you. Uh, there's more Islanders coming, a couple different colors in this vein. Uh, I know there's a lot of divers, but that's where I'm focusing right now. But there are other styles coming. I'm hoping to kind of get them out before the middle of January. I think it'll happen. Uh, at least one more new style of watch. Uh, we'll build on that. And then I already have, I think, another three in the works. So uh, a lot of good things to come. Anyway, um, that's not the purpose of the video. That's just a quick commercial. Let's check out the uh, uh, AV-8 Beta Chronograph Hawker Hurricane. So here we go. We've got three of the chronographs in front of you here. Like I said, there's three that were released in a limited series. I'm just going to read a blurb direct from my website, which is taken from AV-8, just so I don't miss anything. Uh, the AV-8 Horka Hurricane Beta Chronograph Watch is a unique collaborative timepiece that commemorates and draws inspiration from the life times and ethos of Sir Douglas Bader, uh, who lived from 1910 to 1982. The Chronograph Limited Edition pays special homage, a particular homage, to his time as Wing Commander of Number 242 Canadian Squadron and his Hawker Hurricane. Uh, so, like I said, there are three models. They're all model number AV4072, and then it's like number one, two, and three. Uh, I'll show you the packaging in a minute, what you get. They all come with a secondary nylon strap. They're all really cool looking, and as I sat here staring at them, they're, they're mineral crystal domed, but there's AR on them, as you can see from that awesome blue hue. So, let's see, which one should we look at? Um, I think I'm going to start with the middle one. They're all, the as usual, again, they're all the same watch. Uh, just variations in the coloring schemes, um, straps, case colors, etc. They all have the same pedigree. Uh, so, it is a stainless steel case. This one is um, it's plated dark, almost a brown color. Uh, it's not exactly a gun metal, but it's uh, the same as this green dial guy. Yeah, very close in color. Uh, 43 millimeters in diameter, 13 thick to that slightly domed mineral crystal, 50 millimeters lug tip to lug tip, solid screw down case back. We'll read it in a minute. I mentioned the dome mineral crystal. It comes in a leather strap, 22 millimeter lug. There's also a secondary nylon strap. They all have secondary nylon straps of varying colors. Water resistant to 50 meters. Runs on a uh, VD52 quartz chronograph movement, so it's a battery operated watch. All three are the same price at 285. Uh, so let's um let's check out the back. As I said, they're all it's all limited series, so you can read the back. Uh, but the Douglas Bader Foundation limited edition, a little signature, the signature on the dial. I'm sure you caught it, but we'll look at it in a second. Uh, model number is 4072, and let's see. Yeah, this is number 680 of 726. Because of three colors, the total series is 726. Um, so I guess three goes into that evenly because 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 6 is 15. So three goes evenly into that. Um, let's see. So let's get into the particulars of the watch. We'll zoom on a pretty cool dial. As you can see, I, I'm getting some blue out of it from my lights. Pretty nifty. Uh, but it is a black dial. You can see the uh, go off angle a bit, I guess. Try to see the, the signature, the Douglas Bader signature, the AV8 plate. You have a 24-hour register on the right, elapsed minutes on the left, elapsed seconds up top, and running seconds is in the center, which is true with a lot of AV8 watches. Uh, they all, a lot of the chronos tend to do that. Um, so to activate the chrono, you press the top button, and then the elapsed seconds will start on their way. And then here's elapsed minutes, stop, reset. Okay, so... Like I said, there's three of them. I guess I should probably give you the model number. 
This is an AV4072. This is the 03. Um, check out the brown strap, the multicolor tie off. Really nifty looking sign. Buckle matches the case. Uh, and then I'll get into, let's see what this one is. This is the 02. So also a plated case, but now we've gone to like a, uh, a green dial, yellow numbers. Yellow hands, beautiful red red seconds hand, red accents um, all around on the sub dials. Really nifty looking brown strap. Love the beautiful colors of the um, the keepers. Really sets off the watch nicely. Cool looking. And then the last one was obviously the 01 is a regular blasted case, stainless steel, so it's not plated. But now here we have the blue dial. Uh, the blue dial has the silver, sunken silver subdials, yellow accents. Pretty nifty. Um, I said I would show you the packaging, so let me zoom way out and see if I can fit it in the, uh, in the view. I detest large packaging as an e-commerce vendor. Uh, so it's a large leather case. You flip it up. Uh, you, the watch would be here. Here's a secondary uh, nylon strap, a tool to change your strap, and the card with the series number limited edition you can read a little bit about it um royal air force all the good stuff uh, what it's all about um it sure makes a heck of a presentation as a gift um, you know very solid very nice uh let's see the top pretty cool looking they are all loomed. The 01 seems to have the best loom on the numbers and the hands. Um, the other two, a little, not, not as much. Of course, I'm not really darkening the area too much, but there is certainly loom. You can read it. Uh, if you're a loom junkie, I guess the regular sandblasted case, the 01, is the one you're going to want. And we could just look for a minute and say, you know, wh why is that? Well, you look, these are, you know, plain white numbers, maybe a little bit cream colored. These are colored numbers, so the luminescence is not going to be as good as it was um, with the other guys, uh, you know, with, with a lighter color. So let's, um, I'll try on this guy because I think he's pretty cool looking, pretty stealthy. Uh, we'll see how it looks. So there it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist, maybe a little bit big. You don't forget it's a pilot's watch, so it's got real no, no, no real bezel to speak of. Um, so it does appear larger than it actually is, but it looks nice, feels nice. The strap is actually super comfortable. You can see I could go smaller on the wrist, but I doubt a smaller wrist would actually wear this. And obviously plenty of room to go longer. That will wrap it up. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com uh, showing you the uh, Aviate Hawker Hurricane Bader Chronograph Limited Edition. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.